Okay, let's look at calculation type 6. So what volume of suspension should be dispensed for 7 days of treatment for suspension containing 1 mg per 5 ml and the dose required is 2 mg TDS. 2 mg TDS means you've got 6 mg per day because TDS is 3 times a day. You then know you've got 1 mg in 5 ml, you need 6 mg. So 6 times 5 times 7 because it's 7 days of treatment and you therefore get 210 ml as each of 6 mg is in 5 ml for 7 days. Another type 6. What volume of suspension should be dispensed for 7 days of treatment for suspension containing 200 micrograms per milliliter and the dose required is 0.2 mg QDS. So 0.2 mg is 200 micrograms. 200 times 4 is 800 micrograms. That's how much they take in a day. This is 4 times the amount in the suspension. Therefore, it's 4 times 7, which is 28 mils. Okay, so moving on to type 7. How many milliliters of injection solution will deliver the required dose if the injection contains 2 milligrams per mil, with the dose being 500 micrograms? getting a touch more complicated perhaps. So how many milliliters of injection solution will, deli will deliver the required dose of the, if the injection contains 2 milligrams per 5 ml? So 500 micrograms, let's convert that to milligrams because that's what our dose is in. So we've got 0.5 milligrams. 0.5 is a quarter of 2. So therefore you need a quarter of the dose which is 0.25 ml. Another type, how many milliliters of injection solution will deliver the required dose if the injection contains 100 micrograms per mil with the dose being 0.5 milligrams. So this time we'll convert the 0.5 milligrams into micrograms and we get 500 micrograms. 500 micrograms is 5 times 100, therefore it's 5 mils. That's what we need, that's how we get it. Moving on to type 8, calculate the total volume to be dispensed if the strength of the medicine is 240 milligrams for 5 mils and the dose regime is 360 milligrams 4 times a day QDS for 1 over 52 which means 1 week. So, a bit more information over here, we've got to work out the volume that I need to dispense or you need to dispense. So 360 milligrams is one and a half times as much as 240 milligrams. So you just do one and a half times the four times the five times the seven. The four for the QDS, the five for the five mils, and the seven for the seven, um, seven days because it's for one week. That gives you 210 mils in total. 1.5 times as much, 4 times a day, per 5 mils for the one week. Okay? Right. Moving on to another. Calculate the quantity to be dispensed if the strength of the medicine is a tablet of 200 milligrams and the dose regime is 400 milligrams QDS for 28 days. QDS is 4 times a day. So you've got 400 milligrams is twice as much as 200 milligrams. So 2 times 4 times 28 gives you 224. That's twice as much 4 times a day for 28 days. Right. And we'll look at the last type, which is type 9. Calculate the dose and daily dose for a 50 kilogram male with a dosage regime of 50 milligrams per kilogram daily. So this time you've been told the weight of a patient and how much medicine they take per kilogram. And then you've got to work it out. This is a particularly popular way to prescribe for children because of the varying weights that they have. So if you've got 50 times 50, which gives you 2,500 milligrams. 
is both the dose and the daily dose, as the regime is stated daily. We'll do one more of this type. <coughs> Excuse me. Calculate the dose and the daily dose in milligrams for an 18 kilogram child with a dosage regime of 2 micrograms per kilogram in 4 divided doses per day. So again, quite a lot of teeny bits of information. Jot them down. You've got 2 micrograms. Let's convert that into milligrams first. You get 0 0.002 2 milligrams. 18 times 0 0.002 gives you 0 0.036 milligrams because that's the weight of the child. The dose is 0 0.036 and you divide that by 4 because you want to work out the dose and there are 4 doses in any one day. And then you do the daily dose which is a 0.036. So you have now worked out the daily dose, which is a 0.036, and the dose, the individual dose, which is per session, per time given, you divide that by 4 to get that. Noting down the units and keeping a very good eye on where the decimal points go. Right, so let's look at calculations in context here. This is question 14 of the book, the recent Smith book. So a three-year-old child weighing 15 kilograms requires furosemide at a dose of 2 milligrams per kilogram daily. The only available preparation is oral solution containing furosemide is 10 milligrams per mil. What volume of the oral solution should be dispensed so the child is sufficient for 28 days? You need to clearly break this down into bits so that you've got, you can work it out correctly. Starting off with the 15 times 2 because that tells you how much they need. They're a 15 kilogram child with 2 milligrams per kilogram every day. So they need 30 milligrams per day. The solution comes in 10 milligrams per mil. So if you did 30 milligrams divided by 10 milligrams per mil, it'll tell you that you need 3 mils per day of that solution. You're going to get for 28 days so you do 3 times 28, which gives you 84. So you need to give 84 mils of that solution. So once you break it down, it's actually very straightforward. Let's try a different type of question. Child weighing 15 kilograms requires an intravenous injection of elfentanil at a dose of 30 micrograms per kilogram. Alfentanil injection is available in 2 mils ampules containing 1 milligram of alfentanil. What volume in milliliters of injection should be given to the child? So first of all the child's weight 15 kilograms. They need 30 micrograms per kilogram so you multiply that up and you get your answer of 450 micrograms. That's what the child needs. The ampule comes in one milligram per two mils, which means in any one mil, you're going to have half a milligram. Therefore, that's the same as saying you're going to have 500 micrograms per mil. I convert that to micrograms because I know what the child needs in micrograms. It's easy then to work in micrograms. So I know that one mil's got half a milligram, and that therefore is the same as 500 micrograms. 50 micrograms would be 0.1 of a mil. The reason I did that is because the 50 then divides nicely into the 450. So I can now work out that the volume would be 9 times as much and therefore it's 0.9 mils. Okay. And in a different context, context 3, and the last one that we're looking at today. A patient is prescribed cocodamol, 30 over 500, that's the strength it comes in. Those are the two ingredients that make up cocodamol. Three times a day for four a week. The patient also takes Neurofen Plus, two tablets three times a day. How much codeine 
would the patient consume during the course of the treatment and is this amount above the maximum BNF dose for codeine? Now, the information that you need to answer this question is the fact that Nurofen Plus contains ibuprofen 200 mg and codeine phosphate 12.8 mg. The maximum recommended dose for codeine in the BNF is 240 mg per day. So you need that last bit of information to answer the question. Right, so if you then look at it, cocodamol, 3 times 7 is 21 tablets, 21 times 30, and the reason I'm multiplying by 30 is because when it said cocodamol 30 over 500, 30 is the amount of codeine, 500 is the amount of paracetamol, cocodamol is a codeine and paracetamol combination product. So it's got 30 milligrams of codeine in it. So 30 milligrams times 21 gives you the 630 milligrams of codeine. Nurofen, you were having six tablets uh, in the week, so that's 42 tablets. 42 at 12.8 milligrams gives you 537.6 milligrams of codeine. Total codeine the patient is taking is the 630 plus the 537.6, which gives you 1167.6. The legal allowable amount is 240 times 7, which is 1,680. So the answer is, no, we are not above the maximum dose. She's still got another 500-ish, um, 500 milligrams that she can take of codeine before she's going to be hitting the maximum level. So I hope that these, this session has helped to understand how to work out dosage regimes and the various different types of questions that can be put to you for dosage regimes.